Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. It's hard to believe that I haven't covered this song on the channel yet. I became obsessed with Robert Plant's vocals over a year ago. And this is one of Led Zeppelin's bigger songs. So why did I not do it? And I think the answer is, I didn't wanna make some sort of hot political statement, but I learned today that these lyrics have absolutely nothing to do with current immigration legislation, unless you wanna count maybe Thor's visit to Earth. So let's get to it. Ooh. Ooh, lots of people. Okay, just from the very, very beginning, it's amazing how his vocal entrance can grab you, right? It's like, I'm gonna sing in the most nasal ah vowel possible. I wonder if that's what was going through his head. How nasal can we make this? Because this vowel, while it's an ah, it's more like a French ah. That means that your soft palate is dropped. Uh, well, French ah, nasal ah vowel. And soft palate is dropped, so you get this, uh, just this channeling of the sound up through the soft palate and through the nose. Ah, oh, so nasal. But it's also on this like very thin part of his cord, so it gives extra pierce and lightness at the same time. Whoa, we're gonna go back, 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 back. Is this, this must be the first song in their set. Huh. I'm thinking about like this, this sort of droning that we're hearing ahead of time. Obviously we've got, uh, it's live, 1972 is where this is taken from. I particularly like hearing Led Zeppelin live because they are so incredible with their improvisations the whole band does. It's just mind boggling. And I like the way that they just take it further and further and further. Hopefully we'll hear some of that. Um, but the way that it's drawn out ahead of time, it feels like either it was a break or the beginning of their set. And if it was the beginning of their set, the way that they come in with so much energy is pretty awesome, right? That definitely sets a tone for the whole concert. I dig it. <laughs> Got a lot of drive. <laughs> I believe that those are the same uh, intervals as we have in Bali High. Just side note, if you're a musical theater nerd, now you're never gonna hear this song again the same way. Ah, oh gosh, it's so nasal. Ah. Oh gosh, it's so nasal. Huh. All right, so, I talked about like a thinness in the vocal folds before. When he goes up, it seems so easy. I mean, he's very, very talented. So he has massive natural access, I think, to a wide range. But when he goes up, he thins the vocal folds out. I feel like it does extra thinning, which makes it even easier. Um, it's, often I'll think about the vocal folds kind of like a, a thick rubber band. If you pull that rubber band, you'll see that it actually gets thinner on the sides, right? And uh, the vocal folds have both TA, which thyroretinoid, which is on the sides of the folds, and then the cricothyroids will 
pull them. So in the crackle thyroids, when they pull, it makes a thinner edge of the vocal folds. It's going to be going wacka, wacka, wacka. And the thyroid arytenoid is on the sides, and that can make them thicker or it can help engage them, sometimes also called the vocalis muscle, FYI. And when you have more TA engagement, it's often a thicker fold. And it, so you'll see it coming together like all the way like this. This is way zoomed in, of course. And if it's thinner, it's more like you just get like a smaller uh, bit because it's been pulled taut, right? Uh, so in this case, it feels like it really got, he pulled it extra taut in order to get up to that high stuff so easily. And that creates an even like more pinpointed sound to then go through the nodes with. <laughs> oh, back a little further. Hear Bali hi. <laughs> And so when it goes down into the hammer of the gods, there's like a little more thickness and weight to the chords. So you can really hear how they're starting to thicken up some. Let's keep going. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back again. Right here. Um, I love the way he really lingers on certain consonants there. He makes it very yummy. Yeah, that's some yummy consonants. So, quick disclaimer here. I know that this was in Thor Ragnarok, but I watched Thor Ragnarok before I really had heard Led Zeppelin or, or knew what Led Zeppelin sounded like. It, so, it happened somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, and I did not take note of it. <laughs> so it's always fun when people say, of course you've heard this song. It's like, oh, well, yeah, I guess I did hear it somewhere, but it's very different once you dive in and analyze a song, you get to know a musician, then you take note of where that musician's been placed. A lot of times people just aren't aware of the plethora of music that they have been exposed to. Like, could you tell me where you've heard Claire de Lune placed? in films, you probably couldn't, unless you're a total WC piano nerd like I am. So just saying, um, it's uh, it's very interesting to come back and now I actually really want to see where this was placed because I'm wondering how they put this the lyrics here together with, with Thor's, was it an entrance maybe? It feels like it has to be about Thor, of course. Okay, back a little bit, we'll keep going. My uh, my science vocal science brain is like making all of these possibilities for how he got to that sound and maybe if the soft palate was dropped, it actually helped redirect any of the pressure in his throat. Does that make it easier for the high notes? There's so many fun things about how when you shift one tiny thing in the vocal tract, it affects so many different ones. It is such a complex function. That said. I love he's the top and the way he gets into it. It gets all gnarly with it. It's just so good. Okay, back one more time. Very oh, here. You know, I think of Thor as this frozen from very cold temperatures kind of thing, right? Like Fur Cloak. Uh, this song obviously is before Marvel too. Um, it almost feels like it's portraying Thor in a more exotic fashion. Um, or just, yeah, it just, it feels, it feels more Eastern in flavor than I would have expected. 
it, it has a certain, yeah, a very exotic choice of, of notes, obviously with that Bali high kind of theme, also at tapping into musical theater there. I'm thinking, oh, are we, like, we could even have some some other island vibes going on. It's a very confusing set of uh, temperatures <laughs> that I'm getting. So we'll see where that goes. We'll keep going. Oh, oh, that was like, that was five seconds of pure vocal glory right there. Oh man. Okay, what are we gonna start with? I'm gonna go back first and then we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna come back a bunch of times here. Okay. We are your okay, right there first. We are. <laughs> I love it when people get surprised at this one. <laughs> I hope I surprise you right now, or at least make you giggle a little bit if you already know it. Uh, W's. Begin with an ooh. With a, ooh, we are. Everyone thinks, no way, just what, what. But it, as you start to make that sound, you'll realize we. It has an ooh in front of a W. And that has this like fun gliding of the lips, essentially. And when a singer wants to elongate that consonant, they can actually sing an ooh vowel in front of it, which is exactly what he does right here. We, we are. <laughs> That's awesome. We are we are. So, oh, and then there's, oh gosh. <laughs> I like the way he like sort of tumbles down, but it feels like he's again leaning in towards this Middle Eastern kind of ornamentation. And then, then, it's fascinating because on this bottom note here, I'll just sit back one more time. Oh wow, that is that is mesmerizing. What a what a fun expression there. So it feels like we've got this Middle Eastern kind of ornamentation. It's definitely got a lot of chromatics in it. Very very quick small intervals, right? But there's this in and out of leaning with the sound and actually a little more liquid feel. A lot of times we'll hear this kind of ornamentation super freaking clear, almost like there's breaks between the note. And this feels a lot smoother, at, almost like there's a moaning in the ornamentation, which makes sense with Robert Plant, right? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a really great top extension that he has. I feel like it can go further and further up. Also, it was surprising. It felt like it took it just a little bit further in that harmonic progression there. So one more time, that. Right there. That extra extension is delightful. There's something that the instrumentalists do in Led Zeppelin that I just love. And the best way that I can describe it is it feels like they're about to pop a seam. It's about to come unraveled. The music is just going to fall apart. And then suddenly everything stitches back up. It's like they push me to the extent of feeling like the wildness is so wild it can't possibly be reeled back in. And then they're like, oh no, don't worry, I've got you. Here's your downbeat. <laughs> that happened right there, very distinctly. And I've heard it in other songs too from them. Oh, it's great. Oh, 
I know you guys say don't stop during a guitar solo, but there's so many chapters of this guitar solo. We need to go back and like digest them. I like, I really like digesting one chapter fully so that when the next one comes along, I'm able to enjoy it more. I get like a lot of times you want that very large picture and some songs feel like they drive towards that a lot more. And I would say that Led Zeppelin drives toward that more as well, but I just need some more chapters in this guitar solo. So we're gonna come back here. Here-ish. Oh, I think that was right on it. So a lot of the pitch choices in here, again, we have this slightly exotic kind of feel. I wonder if that was just a, a big preference that all of Led Zeppelin would lean into. I'm thinking like cashmere as well. Huh, okay. So exotic pitch choices. Let's keep going. That was like chapter one, it was like, hey, we're gonna stay in this kind of like, ooh, land. <laughs> that part, I love the way he's moving into something really quickly. Thinks you're gonna stop, and then he's like, no, 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 we can get, we can milk some more out of this. And that's something, again, I feel all of the band members are very good at doing that. One more time there. A little more. <laughs> and that section felt like it went on like two beats longer. So it's it's the same thing where my instinct almost feels square. Uh, it actually, my instinct to me feels a little bit boring because I think, oh, that'd be a good spot for that particular thing to end. Like it's very nice and neat. And Led Zeppelin is not nice and neat. They push you and they're like, oh, you thought that was enough? Let me tell you, there's a little bit more. We can still eke out of it. It takes us... It's like they, it, they're taking us up to a cliff and you're like, okay, now now we can jump over, right? And they're like, no, 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 50 feet higher. And then you can skinny dip, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again, pushing it just a little far. Oh, delicious. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna come back just a little bit because there's this motif, like this sort of uh, a melodic idea and it's also rhythmic. It's an idea that we have and, and the guitar has carried it up and then uh, I think maybe it was middle and then up and then down, but it's a longer one. And this is one of the reasons it was so hard for me to pause earlier is because that idea is being extended over so much time. Really cool. Extend it there again. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, juicy harmony. Gosh. That's such a good, like, riff. So, Uh-oh. I am totally not okay with how short this song is. It is much too short. Like I needed another vocal entrance in there for sure. I wanted to expand on that like really cool driving riff a bunch more. Um, and honestly, you could have given me like two more instrumental breaks. I would have loved it. I am spoiled by metal and I want my songs to be long and developed. So uh, if you're like me and you need to hear a lot more Led Zeppelin analysis this morning, check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.